the year 1999, I was living in a barn in Ohio, just finishing up with college, and uh, I got the brilliant idea that I wanted to go to New York City and be in Times Square for the 1999 over to 2000 New Year's Eve. Now, some of you might remember that a part of the country was crazy back then because there was this Y2K bug that was going to destroy the planet. Um, and instead of being cautious, I wanted to be in one of the craziest places in the world. So, yeah, New Year's Eve, uh, Times Square. And I was able to convince two of my friends to come along with me, Mandy and Renee. And they came with me to New York City and we went to Times Square. All, the only thing is we went to Times Square way too late to get anywhere good, meaning we left at like 8 p.m. And there have been people there in Times Square for 24 hours before that that had great spots. And uh, we did not get a great spot to start. Happy looking group of people. Notice the ages, though. Do you see? It is a young person's game. In order to stand out here for 10 or 12 hours, you're going to have a lot of stamina. Police have arranged the, the porta potties on the side streets and all. They've accommodated the people who couldn't get into the square. They've worked it out so people can move around with ease. We were several streets away from all the action in Times Square. However, we did meet a couple of policemen. And we started taking some pictures with them and talking about how we're from out of town or how we're just really happy to be here and so forth. And they were really intrigued by this and that we came, we drove so far. To just to be here for Times Square and they said do you want to go someplace more interesting and of course we wanted to go someplace more interesting because we couldn't see anything we weren't even close to anything so they said go ahead and meet us over here in the corner in like five minutes and we'll take you someplace more interesting so we did this and we met up with them and they took us down this side street and when we turned the corner there we were in the very first pen under the under the ball in Times Square. Somehow we figured out a way to cut in front of two million people to be at the best place possible uh, in Times Square. And we couldn't believe it. We absolutely had the best Times Square slash New Year's Eve experience ever. And the fact that it was from 1999 over to 2000, it was a once in a lifetime experience, a once in a millennia experience and I'll never forget it. It was amazing. Here's some footage from that night. Billions and billions of visitors have come to this area since 1904. You can hear the music building in the background. They have this surround sound this year. All sorts of sound and confetti and other doodads will happen as we go along. There are 500 dancers, actors, musicians, and puppeteers seven giant screen TVs, 160 puppets, 57 banners, 500 three-foot balloons have been distributed, and 100,000 handouts, which include uh, pom-poms and lays and wigs and flags. And they've all gotten their little party souvenirs, and they're having a great old time. And we're just less than three minutes away from probably the biggest sound you will ever hear as the millennium ball drop happens. It, I mean, I've seen a lot of them, but I've never seen the sounds of a crowd like this. If indeed this is two million people, there are only three cities in the United States that are bigger than this crowd, Chicago, New York, and LA. This is big, really big. That's a funny look, look at them. They're all the way up to Central Park, all the way down to 42nd Street. This is a massive New Year's Eve crowd with a minute and 30 seconds left. Listen to the music, Bill. They're ready. They're in their sombreros. That's our street cam. We've got 25 cameras here tonight covering this event. This is a really big one. to stay at home in one minute the ball will drop and you will see pandemonium listen to him the ball is beginning to move they can feel it they know it in 47 seconds it will be 2000 you're in 
Times Square with a couple of million intimate friends. <laughs> 35 seconds. They're ready in 30. Get close to somebody you love. In 25 seconds, it'll be the new year. In 20 seconds. And we're going to count it down from here down when we get to 10. Are you ready? Happy New Year early. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy 2000! work it's going to take to clean this mess up. <laughs> Whee! They're partying in the ABC room, but you've got a whole night ahead of you. This is magnificent coverage going on here for the ABC 2000 event. The people here in Times Square will continue to party on into the wee hours. You can count it. They're taking pictures of each other, celebrating. They're in a festive mood if ever there was one. Going to preserve that on his uh, home video there. You won't find a happier group of people anywhere in the world. And it'll be very interesting tomorrow to see if the official estimate is two million. I can usually tell years and years ago, I, I could sort of judge it by looking up and down the street. You can't take an individual head count, but I'd say, well, a half a million people are here. And sure enough, it would appear in the paper the next day to confirm it. I have no more idea in a billy goat how many people are here tonight, but it's a lot. This is the biggest New Year's Eve crowd I've ever seen in the almost 30 years I've been hanging around here. Once again, congratulations to the NYPD. They do an extraordinary job. The city of New York throws the biggest party in the world. It's orderly, it's happy, it's well controlled. Beautiful job. And once again, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your New Year's Eve. Peter Jennings, Happy New Year early. I'll see you soon, sir. Those of us who are here are just a little biased as to whether it was the biggest or the best celebration. Wherever you were, we hope it was the biggest and best celebration. People here waited for 19 hours. And hey, listen, this was the way the vote went. Happy New Year to you all across the country. 
and across any other country that happens to be watching us. We had a great time. As I said, they waited 19 hours here in Times Square to share a moment like this, and they waited in every other city in the world to have a happy millennium moment as well. And now we're going to take a break and then work our way all the way across America. Thanks for being with us.